today we've got our last game of the season against fifth place Tanta. But with our league position all but secured, the main issue for today's video is whether we're going to be getting a new contract and staying put at Coca-Cola FC or whether or not we're going to be getting thrown out on our ear and having to start looking for a new job somewhere in the footballing world. Let's go and find out in episode 5 of Homeless to Hero. <laughs> Hello people, how are ya? It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, and yet, like I said in the intro, big main issue for today is whether or not we can get ourselves a new contract to stay put here at Coca-Cola FC. We're going to find out after we have played our last game of the season against Tanta. And so, before we do get on to that, let's just catch you up on what has happened since we was last together. We was together for this absolute drubbing by Petrojet. 4-0 we lost that game. As you will probably remember, we were awful in that game. So then we went on to the next one against Suez FC. Drew that one 0-0. Uh, again, we went with a 4-4-1-1. And that was kind of working for us. But of course, we wasn't picking up results. So I decided to change to a 4-4-2. Try that. Nice and basic. Nice and simple. But... Again, we lost 2-0 and we lost 2-0 to a team that was te was a man down with about half of the game left, just under half of the game left. And then after that, we decided to try yet another formation. A 5-2-3 this time, a very defensive 5-2-3. And we lost 1-0 to Al Seca. And yet another disappointing performance. Absolutely nothing happened for us. So, we went back to the 4-4-1-1, and we drew this game 2-2 against Nogum, and Nogum are 6th in the league. And so, that was you would think that would be a good result, a good performance, and it was a cracking performance. If we have a look at the match stats, you will see that we should have won this game. How we only had to wait till the end to equalise... I don't know, but you can see it here. They had 11 shots to our 5, 5 on target apiece, but RXG 1.84, almost a whole point ahead of them. So we really should have won that game, 50-50 on the possession. And one highlight of that game was our youngster, our new youngster, Mustafa El Sami. He came through our youth intake a couple of months ago, and this was his first goal for us. So I'm very happy about that. You can see it there. He's 16 years old. He's one of the ones who's getting paid because of my disastrous decision a couple of episodes ago to give everybody contracts. But if he can carry on scoring goals, I'm going to be happy that he's getting that 25 quid a week. And so, what all those results mean is that we have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games without a win. Which is very disappointing. So hopefully, we can get one today to finish off the season. And as far as the league table goes, we are 13th in the league. Like I say, barring a massive turnaround, we are going to be finishing 13th in the league. 14th is the lowest we can finish, but as far as I know, there's no real difference, there's no prize money, there's no anything, so 13th or 14th doesn't really matter, but of course you would like to finish higher up, so if we can get a result today, that would be nice, and we are playing against 5th place Tanta, but we should have beaten 6th place Nagum in the last game, so... Who knows what's going to happen today. Let's go and have a look at the team. And this is going to be the team for today's game. Torfik in goal. El Maturi in left back. Mokhtar and Hani as our centre-backs. 
and Nabil is our right back. Mohamed Salah, not that one unfortunately, but Mohamed Salah is our right winger. Belibi is in the middle of the park as our central midfield defensive sort of holding player. Salem is our advanced playmaker for today. Abdul Wahab, who is probably our star player, is on the left wing. You can see there, he's got he's got like yellow blocks. So he's got to be decent, surely. And so, yep, yeah, he is on our left wing. He scored five goals for us this season and got us an assist. So he has done quite well for us. And then ahead of him, we've got Abu Moselem. And then we've got El Sami, who we're going to put as a poacher, actually. He scored that equaliser in the last game. So he gets a run out today for the last game of the season. Please let us get a result. Please, please, please. So here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to say we owe Tanta after what happened in our last match. That's got one, two, three, four, five the team motivated, almost half. So you never know. Let's see. I don't know what to predict for this. Oh, I'm going to say one all draw. One all draw. But anything other than that would be a bonus. Oh, first highlight of the game, and it's us with the corner, but it gets headed away. And now Salem is coming forward, or coming back to get the ball even. And Salem, can he cross this back into the box? He crosses it across the box, and Nabil! Oh, what a goal that would have been. Ten minutes in now, and we've got the second highlight of the game already. El Sasley just parking himself on the ball there. Goes forward to his teammate, Gally, who does go back to him. And now it's El Azab, who's tried to go long, but can we head this away? Yes, we can. But Abdul Wahab is way too slow to get onto that. And now Saeed, back to their defence. They're keeping the ball nicely. They're playing it nicely now. But now Fawzi coming forward as our defence backs off. Fawzi has gone for the shot, and thankfully that was a very easy save for our man Torfik. 20 minutes gone now. Nabil with a throw in for us. Salah down the wing goes back to Nabil. He's crossed it into the box. El Sami the youngster. El Sami the youngster with his second goal in two games. In fact, that's his second goal in about 40 minutes of football. What a star he might be. Oh my days. We might have just found a little wonder kid to keep us here at Coca-Cola FC. What a nice volley that was. Nicely placed into the back of the net. 1-0 to the Coca-Cola boys. 1-0 to the Coca-Cola boys. And of course it was an offside. Just a couple minutes to go until half time now. And Abdul Wahab's crossed the ball in but it has gone away. And now it's going to be Tanta to come forward. Saeed back to Abdul Halim who's gone long. Can our keeper come out for this? Yes he does eventually. And so this highlight should carry on I think. And well we've got all day fella. Take your time Torfik. He goes long and we lose it again. Are they going to come forward at us? Fausal to Abdul Halim. To another Fawzi. And now he's turned our d on midfielder there. And what is Fawzi going to do? Fawzi back to Abdul Halim. Come on, let's just win this ball back. Gali, Saeed, Gali. Come on, tackle him, somebody. I know we're all on yellow cards because of the stupid two yellow card rule in this league. But we should still be tackling us. That's a great save. What a save from Torfik. Where has these performances been all season from these boys? As we go in at half time, 1 0 up with an XG of 1.13, 5 shots, 4 on target, and possession again 50 50. Let's go and run into the dressing room. I'm going to go pump fists. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go hands on hips. I'm happy with your performance. Everybody's happy. Come on, can we hold on and finally get a win on camera? Just under half an hour left. Fafi with the ball. Back to El Sanui. Now, come on. Can we tackle him and win this back, please? 
Fatty with the ball. He goes long. And oh, Abdul Rahman's beaten our defender way too easily there. But the post has come to our rescue. And Hanny hoofs it out just a couple minutes later. And now we've got the ball from our throw in. Abdul Wahab. He's got a man in space over the other side of the pitch, but he chooses not to ping it to him. And now Al Maturi to Abdul Wahab. We've got a man in the middle of the pitch, but we've decided instead to go long, but it might have worked for us. Oh, Al Sami just about having his shot blocked there. Okay, just under 20 minutes left now. Just made a couple of changes. Walid has come on on the right-hand side in place of Mo Salah, who's been quite disappointing. And El Sadwi has come on for Gaber Salem in the advanced playmaker role. 15 minutes to hold on. Can we finally get a win on camera, please? And there we are. We do indeed have our first win on camera Great way to end the season. Not the most entertaining of games, but like I said at the start, this game was not the main part of this video. But it was very, very nice to get a win. That might have changed my mind. Because, to be honest, I was thinking of resigning and leaving and trying my luck. But, it might be worth another year. It might be worth another year. That is, if I can get a new contract. So, I'll see you in a second when I'll be asking the board for that new contract. Well, just before we do that, there is confirmation that we have finished 13th in the league on 23 points. A hole 47 behind Al Dakalia, who have won the league. Uh, Zed have come second. Tanta, who we've beat today, they have finished 5th. Petrojet finishing fourth. Porto Suez, unfortunately, as we've been expecting all season, they will be going down to the league below. And so, yep, let's find out if we can get a new contract. So here we are. We're in the boardroom. Just going to go ask for a new contract now. Personal new contract. And I don't like this on this FM. I liked it before, how it used to be like instant, how you'd ask them for something and then you'd be able to have a chat straight away. Why they've changed it to this, I don't know, but they have. And so I'll be back in a second when I've got some kind of answer. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, I, I've put the settings on so that so that when, when I'm in between games, it skips through quite quickly. But anyway, there is... Oh, Will this please do what I want? There it is. I am pleased to confirm in writing the board's agreement to, to, board agreement to the request you made at our recent board meeting. We will be offering you a new deal shortly. Pay rise, maybe? Not that I think I've deserved it. Because let, let's just quickly, before we do skip forward to that, let's see how many games have I actually won. What was my first game in charge? It was, it was Porto Suez, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was our first game in charge. Yeah, it was. Yeah, back in August. Yeah, so since then, we have only won one, two, uh, well, in the, that's not even in the league. How many games have we won actually in the league? We have won the grand total of one... Two, three, four. We won four games in between August and May. How they're giving me a new contract, I don't know. But they are. So we'll just wait and see what the details of that are going to be. And then that's where we're going to leave it for today. Here we are. Contract is being offered. But just before that... Apparently, 13th in the league is a new low for the club, which is disappointing. But hopefully next season, we will do better. I think we will. I think we have got a lot of potential in this club. If that last game is anything to go by, and the one before that with a 2-2 draw, I think we might have stumbled onto something with the 4-4-1-1. But anyway, wage we are being offered is £350 a week. 
which I think is the same as what I've is what I'm on now. Contract info. Yep. So no pay rise, but how much longer do they want to keep me on for? Uh, does not say there, but end of current season. So I'm guessing that's next season. I'm hoping. And group two mid table. So mid table they want for next year. Uh, no, they don't. Yeah, end of 21, 20, 22 season. Continue being an established team. And so two year deal. Do we want a two year deal? It's a little bit of security, but might we want to start thinking about moving on at some point? Will they give me a one year deal? Nope, it's two years or nothing. Fair enough then. That is going to be it for today as we do sign a new two year contract. Next season, we are going to really get stuck into it. We're going to really try and sort the mess out that we have created at this club as far as the finances go. But I'm excited for next season. If you are and if you've enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content. Total Extreme Wrestling content is going to be coming to the channel. Pro Wrestling Simulator at some point as well. And a whole lot of other stuff is going to be coming to the channel. So subscribe for all that. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming, I think it is. I'll put the link down below. And yep, guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bonjour!